What's up, YouTubers? Larry coming at you on October 24, 2014. Uh, I have a song playing in the background yet again. It is Boys the Men. It is so hard to say goodbye. And this is going out to my stomach. That's about to get cut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about my uh, week so far. It is hell week, as I call it. Uh, a lot of you guys have been laughing at that, which I'm glad. Um, hell week is hell week. Um, it started on October 20th. Um, it's my seven day, yes, yeah, seven day. Some people have been like, oh, it's seven days. I had 14. Some people, I think, had a three week. I didn't see too many of those, but uh, it's mostly been two and one week. Some people had a one or two day, which you guys are all assholes, but I love you. Um, yeah, okay. Suggestion before you go into your seven day hell week or 14 day hell week, whatever it may be, stop fucking drinking coffee, get rid of the caffeine beforehand, cause holy shit you're gonna fucking be miserable, 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 like I wanted to like rip my brain out of my head, it was hurting so bad, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was about a 7, and it was just a constant throb all day, everybody at work is like, what's wrong with you, what's wrong with you, what's wrong with you? I'm like, just leave me the fuck alone. Um, yeah, caffeine withdrawal sucks. Um, start your caffeine withdrawal um, one, two weeks before you go into your hell week because it's bad. Um, the headache was there for about three days. The first, um, the first day it came on gradually because uh, I didn't have any coffee that morning. I only drink one cup a day. It's not even that bad. I'm not that big of a coffee drinker. But I guess I make it strong enough where it's a big impact on me. Uh, the first day it came on gradually as a throbbing headache in my temples and my forehead. Um, day two, it was all day. Uh, didn't go away at all. And it was bad. Uh, day three... It went down to maybe a level 4 out of 10. And day 4, it was like a 1. It was there, but it didn't hold me back at all. And today, day 5, it's... I feel a little tiny bit in here. But nothing bad at all. Um, let's see, what else? I started my liquid diet and was at 287 and today I weighed in at 278 so I'm down 9 pounds um, not the way I want to do it as far as star starving myself but and it's 9 pounds more than I was last week whatever um, what have I been drinking um, kind of got pretty pissed off at my protein shakes uh, not my pre-made ones but the ones that I would make before I was um, putting a couple things into them as far as fruits and stuff like that and I basically had to stop doing that so what I do is I have my muscle milk and pour that in and then put some ice and blend that up in a blender and basically what was happening is the ice got to a icy slushy kind of thing but all stuck together and the liquid wouldn't it wouldn't mix with the liquid and it was honestly like my patience isn't where it normally is because we haven't I haven't eaten in a while so yeah let's just say I got mad a couple times at the blender I called up the surgeon to ask her if I was able to put a banana into my protein shake and she said yes I can put one third of a banana into it I did it yesterday I kinda of put half instead of one third and it blended up beautifully oh my god it was night and day I was huge smile on my face big uh, turn um, today I'm gonna to go down to that one third and hopefully it'll blend up just as nice 
Um, oh, I did call the surgeon um, for my headache to ask him if there was anything I can take. They said I can take extra strength or regular Tylenol. I went and got the extra strength because of how shitty I felt. And it helped me for about half an hour. Not even that big of a thing. So it's the caffeine. It fucking sucks. Fuck you, caffeine. Um, what else? I am having surgery on Monday, the 27th. Three more days. Holy shit. It is about to happen. Um, I've been getting calls from the, the doctors basically asking me if I'm allergic to anything, if I've ever had a blood, blood transfusion or anesthesia, uh, which I haven't. Um, they told me to get this stuff called BioClean. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to pull out the name of it now because they um, sent me an email with that information on it. And I want to show you what it looks like. Alright, BioCleanse is what it's called. They said it's in the CVS, Walgreens. I'll show you a picture of it here. And they want you to bathe in it. Um, she said not to put in any holes or orifices, which I wasn't planning on doing anyways. Freaky people out there. Um, you need to lather yourself with it on your from your neck down without putting it in any holes and keep it there for about three minutes and then rinse the night before surgery and the morning of surgery. Uh, I guess it's basically to kind of bio-cleanse your body. Um, they said I can't wear any deodorant to the hospital. Um, yeah, whatever. She's like, don't worry, we're used to it. Some people stink. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of self-conscious, so um, maybe I'll bio-cleanse myself at the hospital <laughs> before if I feel like I'm starting to um, put out an odor. Um, but it should be first thing in the morning, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I haven't got my time yet. Um, what else? I got my mer surgery, mergery, surgery on Monday. Monday and surgery, mergery on Monday. Um, I go back to work tomorrow. Today I'm off. Two days off. I've been okay. Not too much of a struggle. I've been watching movies, trying to keep myself uh, busy, so I'm not sitting there thinking about food. Uh, of course, the food commercials are horrible. Fuck you. I've had a craving for the Taco Bell for the Taco Bell breakfast thing. I didn't want to touch it, but now I stupid fucking cravings. I'm like, holy shit, that kind of looks good. Um, so, that uh, is something I would have liked to eat beforehand. I kind of went on a, not a binge, but a, um, let me eat my favorite foods for the last time kind of thing. On my last week and a half, um, my last meal was Outback. I had a steak, um, two beers, and cheese fries. <laughs> Felt like an asshole, but last meal. That was uh, the 19th. That was Sunday. After work. Went to Outback. It was good. Now I'm making myself hungry. <gasps> okay. Um, let's see. What else have I had on my liquid diet? I've had the puddings. Sugar-free puddings. I bought a shitload of Jello too, but I haven't had any of those because those haven't filled me up that much. Um, I think I can, I can have those on my clear liquid stage on Sunday, and I'll be eating those afterwards. I'm sorry, it's post up. Um, so I've had the sugar-free puddings. I've had Powerade Zero. Um, I haven't had too many of those, but I've been drinking them. I've had my muscle milk uh, by itself. I got the Lipton um, chicken broth noodle soup. It's pretty salty. 
it's more than I kind of like. It kind of makes me put a bitter face on. Uh, so Hard-boiled uh, Helen, I believe it is. I'm bad with names, sorry. Um, suggested it, and I got that from her. And um, she suggested I put a little bit more water into it to dilute it down. I haven't tried that yet, but I will be tonight. Um, oh, I gotta get this stuff. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hey, it's me again. Alright, so here's the soup. That's what I got. There's two in here. Didn't realize there was two. So I went out and bought like ten of them, thinking there was only ten. Oh, there's 20. There's two in each one of these things, so read the label. There's the stats. Uh, it's hard to see, whatever. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. I got this from my bariatric pantry. Seventeen dollars with shipping. <sighs> kind of expensive, but stats on it are zero grams of fat, zero saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, two hundred twenty milligrams of sodium, two hundred seventy of potassium, four carbs, um, one dietary fiber. Two sugars and 15 protein grams of protein. Um, it is hot chocolate. It is mint hot chocolate. Shit's good. Got this from Hard Boiled Heather. Um, I've been having that instead of my morning coffee. It's a good uh, replacement. Um, something to sip on. It does get a little um, clunky in there. It doesn't mix in that great, but it's not that bad. You just kind of swallow it. I don't know how else to say it. Um, what else have I been having? So I said my Powerades. I had my um, starting my protein shakes now that I can put the part of the banana in there, so I don't throw it out the window. Um, Sugar-free puddings, and I have been taking the Campbell's soup to go, the chicken noodle and just sipping on the broth. Um, there's two holes. Hmm. There's two holes on the lid. There's the one that you would normally drink out of to get all the chicken and noodles and vegetables out, and there's a little one on top. So I sip out of the little one on top, and just the broth comes out. Sorry about that screensaver. Again. Um, and I've been taking that to work for lunch, and it's been good. Um, surprisingly, I'm not that hungry for not eating for five days. I think it's mind over matter, what a lot of people say. Um, I know in my head that I'm not going to be eating, so my stomach's been kept in check. It's like basically my brain saying, fuck you, you don't exist right now, so you can kiss my fucking ass. Sorry for those of you that don't like the curse words, but that's me. And that's all I'm going to put out is me. Um, so now, going on to the post-op stage, I need some suggestions. Um, I've heard for the clear liquid stage of the protein isopures, um, as far as that's what I'm going to be drinking, i got to go to the GNC and pick some up. Uh, i got to figure out which flavors. I heard the grape is like, oh, as uh, someone told me. Um... Yeah, give me some suggestions about my isopures and what to have afterwards. I'm not too sure what to do for the puree stage. That's day, I believe, um, after day three or four, um, or whenever I get cleared from my surgeon. Um, I'm not too sure what to do for that. Um, I don't like tuna fish, and I'm not a big, mushy food eater. So I'm not too sure what to do. I saw sugar-free puddings around there. Um, I don't 
like cottage cheese. So I need a little bit of help with the puree stage. I'm not the type that's going to go and get meat and grind it. Or not grind it, but blend it. It's not me. Um, so I need some help with that. So I need some suggestions from my post-op, which is on the 22nd, coming up soon. And my puree stage, which you guys did. Of course, I'm going to go out and look for videos. And I'll talk to my uh, BFFs on Facebook and other places that I know. Um, so, yeah, help me out. What do you got? All right, I've rambled on for about 15 minutes. For those of you that fell asleep, wake up. Um, thank you for the support, the love, everything you guys are doing. Uh, it's a big help. Uh, love you long time. Thank you. Goodbye.